Hi, this is Ram from ramkadem.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use the SQL Server conversion functions. Basically, conversion functions allow us to convert one type of value to another. For example, convert string data type to integer or date data type to string and so on. Before we continue, let me just say that this lesson will not cover all of the use cases for these functions. This lesson is more of an introduction to the concept of converting values. So why do we need conversion functions? Let me give you a simple example. Let's say, select the date is, and let's try to concatenate this string with get date. Let's try to execute. And as you can see, we are getting an error. Conversion failed when converting date and or time from character string. This error simply means we cannot concatenate string and date values. They are not of the same type. In SQL Server, we are able to concatenate only string values, meaning both of the values we are trying to concatenate should be strings. Let's see another example. Let's say, select the number is, and let's try to concatenate it with 10. Again, we are facing the same issue. We cannot concatenate string and number. Both values, as we said, should be strings. Now, to overcome this issue, we can use conversion functions. In SQL Server, we have two options. We have the cast and convert functions. I will demonstrate how to use each of these functions. And toward the end of this lesson, I'll explain what's the difference between those two. So let's start our lesson by understanding how to use the cast function. We said that in order to concatenate two values, both of them should be string. In SQL Server, string data type is represented by varchar. For example, first name is varchar25, city is varchar45, and so on. Let's copy this statement. And this time, let's say, cast get date as varchar, meaning we want to convert the date data type to string. Let's try to execute. Now, both of these values are string, so we are able to perform the concatenation. Note that when we are converting to varchar, we don't need to specify a number. For example, we don't need to say varchar25 or varchar45. We just need to say varchar. Let's see another example. Let's take this statement. And again, we can say cast 10 as varchar. We want to convert the integer to string data type. Let's highlight and execute. And again, now we are able to perform the concatenation. So this is how we can use the cast function. We say cast value as and then the data type we want to convert the value to. Convert. Let's see how we can use the convert function. So let's copy this two statements. And this time, when we are using the convert, we say convert the required data type, varchar, and then the value. So this is how we can use the convert function to convert get date to varchar. And same goes for this example. We need to say convert the data type we want to convert the value to, and then the value. So basically, the convert function does the exact thing as cast. Only here, we specify the required data type before the value we want to convert. So what's the difference between these functions? First, the convert function has an optional style argument. So for example, when we execute this statement, this is how the date is presented by default. Now we can say, instead of displaying the date in this style, let's change it to 103, for example. And as you can see, the date style has been changed. We can change it also to 110. And again, we are getting a different date style. These numbers simply represent different style code. The full list of style codes can be found at the Microsoft SQL Server official documentations. So this is the first difference, the optional style argument. 
Second difference, the cast function is considered as an ANSI standard SQL, while the convert function is not. Convert is actually a specific SQL Server implementation, so you won't find it in other databases, while the cast function is widely used by many database vendors, such as Oracle or MySQL. So, in summary, the convert function has an optional style argument, and while the cast function is an ANSI standard SQL, the convert function is not. Okay, let's conclude our lesson by applying the convert and cast functions on customer's table. Let's type the following query. In this query, the first column represents a concatenation between last name and join date. Here we used the cast function. And the second column represents concatenation between first name and monthly discount. Here we used the convert function. So that was a concluding example to the functions we learned in this lesson. Please feel free to ask any question you may have in the comments section below. And if you are looking for a way to practice what we have just learned, in ramkedem.com you will find hundreds of exercises on many different levels. More details can be found in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.